Hello everyone. Just doing another update on this tank. This is the one year mark since this tank has been set up and it's been just under three months since the last video. And today I'm going to be doing a little harvesting. The tank is actually too overgrown and things are starting to touch and sting each other. Um, over in this corner, I'd originally bought three blue mushrooms on a rock a year ago there's about 15 on this one and a bunch of big ones that had spread off earlier and it's getting close to touching this uh, chalice these two chalices were touching that one has a little spot in the corner where it got stung after I moved it but they're spreading quickly uh, this mushroom had quite a few on the rock before I'll try to cut in a picture here to show you but it is absolutely overrun there's got to be 50 uh, when I first got the live rock, there was about a dozen of these blue pallies and a couple nicer zoos underneath, which there are still some buried in there in the morning. You could see when the blue ones are closed up to nicer fancy zoos that are smaller, but this has gone from 12 up to about, I don't know, 70, I suppose. The um, frog spawn had two or three heads. It was really small. I'll superimpose a picture of that, and it's about a dozen heads now. It's a little bigger to baseball. Um, I had bought one um, bubble tip anemone. There's three here you can see, and there's actually one more down in the crevice of the rocks. And I had this trumpet coral, which I fragged into three pieces, and each one is about the size of what they originally were. So as you can see, that one's just sort of buried in the side there. I'm gonna take the two extra pieces of that out. I'm gonna take out this Kenya tree, which was tiny a couple months ago when I put it in. It's actually some frags of that up inside the reef. And move those out so that I can move the pink-eyed chalice over to where this stuff is and give everything else some room to spread out. So I'm gonna pause the video and then just show you a little clip here after I bag things up and pull it out, how it looks afterwards. So here we are after having taken those couple pieces out and then given the tank a couple hours to settle back down because I irritated the anemones having my arm in there. You can see I've got the three large bubble tips from the original one I had and one's hiding down in the rocks and it's kind of shaded. So the next goal is to maybe add some small pieces of live rock up here and hope that one of these anemones jump onto it and I can move them out and trade them in because if not, these things are gonna keep splitting and growing and eventually overrun everything. I've actually quit target feeding them just to slow down their growth. Uh, here are the red mushrooms after having taken that extra piece of trumpet that was down here on the side. The blue mushrooms are nice and big and open and have room now. And I've taken the pink eyed chalice from over here, giving me some room to back up this Miami hurricane because it was growing into the glass. And then in this corner, got rid of the other trumpet and the Kenya tree so that I could move the pink guy over there and then there's a dragon soul favia back there these eight cans they were just a couple when I bought them and they grew into the rock so as you can see for the one year mark really got a ton of growth in this tank and need to just keep pulling stuff out and trimming or maybe add another tank to start moving things to hope you enjoyed it